Hey everybody, I'm Patrick in for Signal by Sony and we have something special for you today. It was 35 years ago that Sony introduced the first personal music player and that was the original Sony Walkman. It was an instant success, redefined personal listening habits. It was everywhere instantly. Flash forward to today, Sony has introduced the high-res Walkman music player and I happen to have one right here. Yeah, it looks cool, it's streamlined, it's compact, but what makes this really unique is high-res audio. What's high-res audio? High-resolution audio, also known as high-definition audio, HD audio, master quality studio, super audio. Well, the idea is when you look at a CD, right? 44 kilohertz, 16 bits. That's the standard most of us grew up listening to music to. And then something happened. People started listening to vinyl, and they're like, hey, there's more music here. Can't we get that into a digital file format? So the idea with high-res is they up the resolution, the amount of music they sample from the recording, and they put all that digital goodness into really cool file formats like Wave, AF, ALAC, FLAC, and quite a few more. The idea is that it is going to sound great, but I'm not here to review the features on the latest Walkman. No, what we thought would be kind of cool would be to do a teardown on this guy and see just what makes it tick. And what would be even greater to do is a teardown on the original first Walkman and do a contrast and compare. And if you look right back here, we just happen to have one. This thing is a classic. Hinges, cassette wheels, giant knobs. It's got heft, it's got build quality. It's superb right out of the gate. But I'm wondering what these two things have in common other than maybe batteries. Let's go find out. Okay, I can definitely tell you there are two things that the original Walkman and the high-res Walkman have in common. One of them is screws, lots and lots of screws. The other one, of course, is batteries. Definitely no springs in the digital audio player. I love the fact that they actually ran wires from place to place on the motherboard. There's the buttons to control it, where the ribbon connector goes in. What looks to be the main controller board, we got four ICs, a bunch of capacitors, and these big round things are resistors. A lot of wiring running around, including jumpers on the board itself. Your headphone jack's here, so we probably have a lot of the op amps and intelligence around here. This is the actual recording and playback head. It's a big chunk of the intelligence on this. The connector cut out for the audio jack. I'm pretty sure this is the motor controller or power supply. Um, and then here's the actual motor, which is the Sony part. And over here, the headphone outputs, the dictation button, and the microphone. With a little bit of help, these two are kind of like cousins. <laughs> That wraps up this special segment here on Signal. I hope you enjoyed looking at the insides of a 35-year-old Walkman versus the insides of the latest high-res Walkman from Sony. And hey, for everything Sony, go check out youtube.com signal.